Does milk cause cancer? Let's really look at the facts. Uh, dairy is the milk of a cow. You're not a cow. Um, that might sound silly, but, but the bottom line really is that as mammals, we make milk for our offspring. Uh, if you look at the size of a, of a baby cow versus a baby human, uh, that's a big difference in weight. Uh, human milk is very, very different from cow's milk. There's a lot of discrepancies just in a mammalian milk and the fact that a human and cow is very different. There's also the fact that milk has what's called uh, IGF, which is uh, insulin-like growth factor. And just think growth, right? So mommy is giving the baby milk to help the baby grow. Again, huge distinction between the size of humans and the size of cows. But um, also the bottom line is that we only grow up to a certain age and then we're supposed to stop growing. Uh, certainly we want to repair the body, but a growth factor is actually then once we've stopped growing, more associated with diseases such as cancer. So the foods that are very high in IGF, uh, this insulin-like growth factor, are known to be deleterious to our health. But just in the past two years, it's early 2023 as I'm filming this, but uh, 2020 and 2022, um, many studies have come out associating drinking milk with prostate cancer, very strong association there as well as breast cancer and liver cancer. And um, you know, if you say, no, 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 milk's great for you. If you, if you wanna do a little interesting study, you can go back and look at um, the ads. You know, milk builds strong bones. Why don't you see that anymore? Because we know it doesn't. We know the fact that uh, milk is actually uh, deleterious to, to your bone strength, that uh, the more milk you drink, the more osteoporosis you're likely to get. So that was refuted. That's why you don't see those ads anymore. Uh, milk does a body good. That was general enough. Nope, that was pulled also because there wasn't enough uh, support. And as a matter of fact, there was, there was more than enough to show that it doesn't do a body good. And um, the most recent, and this is going back a few years, you don't see too many milk ads anymore, uh, but uh, milk can be part of a healthy breakfast. Okay. <laughs> you know, so that's what they had to get it down to because believe me, they got very creative in trying to figure out a lot of ways to, to support their product and, and it was um, not permitted you know, absolutely not permitted to lie to the public. So uh, really consider your dairy intake. Um, milk, it does not do a body good, and the association with cancer is, is quite prevalent. And I think we're just gonna see more and more of it, but this is a, a cautionary tale to get cow's milk out of your diet. Now we can talk later about uh, soy milk and almond milk, and uh, by the way, soy, it's gotta be, gotta be organic. Um, otherwise don't go anywhere near it, but, um, because of the GMO factor, but there's soy and almond and flax and oat milk. And there's a lot of different, uh, non-dairy milks out there that don't have this association because they don't come from an animal. So hopefully that helps and, uh, definitely send your questions.